today we're out here looking for the oyster mushroom and i think i see some white caps up here so let's go see if that's it okay this was the oyster mushroom and there's actually quite a few of them you got this cluster here cluster there and some clusters going along this side now a few ways to identify is they generally grow in clusters like this overlapping let me get you the younger ones will have rolled over caps at the very end. The, let me see, here we go. The gills run down almost all the way to the base to where the mushroom attaches to the tree. And it will have a fishy-like odor. There is a poisonous look-alike with more translucent, translucent flesh and it lacks the odor. So make sure it smells like a fish. I'll give you a better close-up of one in just a second. Here is a good close-up of the other side. And if you can tell at the very end of the gills, they fork, which is another identifying feature. And the gills run down all the way towards the base. I went ahead and took this one off right from the tree so you can have a good visual. This is a very good mushroom, and if you want to preserve it, you can cut it in thin pieces slices and let it dry and it will preserve your mushroom i just wanted to make a quick little video i hope you guys enjoyed this one i'll see you in the next one